Well, g'day everybody. Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty for yet another episode. So I've just uh, slept the night. We've got a few little things to do today. Uh, I did notice when I made some zucchini um, soup and uh, when I went down to put it in the um, in the pantry, I did notice that we had spicy pumpkin soup. However, that, uh, that job has actually uh, disappeared. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, which is a bit of a bum. Now, we've got uh, quite a few plough the field jobs around here. Uh, let's see, we've got one there as well. And we have a uh, fix the buildings job down there, which we're going to do as well. Because we are trying to move our social points uh, uh, forward as much as we possibly can. Uh, I also did some... Uh... Oh, no, it's all disappeared. <sighs> I did a whole pile of preparation work for garden here. Oh, and it's all gone. I wanted to get some. Uh, I wanted to get some gardening. Um, the reason why I want to get some gardening is because it gives you social points every day when you got flowers. So, oh, I spent all of that time doing that. Now I'm going to have to. Um, now I'm going to have to do it again. But that's all right. You guys can probably do it with me as well. So, we'll uh, do our morning. Our morning routine of collecting the eggs here, milking the cows. Obviously, we need to milk. Uh, we need to get the cows milked as well. Um, just all that daily stuff that we have to do. Come on, there we go. That's a that's a whole pile more pickled eggs that we can. Uh, is it pickled eggs or is it curried eggs? I missed a couple here. Look at that. Uh, is it pickled eggs or is it curried eggs that we do? Uh, how much food do we have in here? We've got. We've still got. Uh, 58% so that's pretty cool that should be okay there they're making a bit of noise aren't they yeah I did uh, all the way around here and I did all the way over there right along that fence line I was hoping to get some um, get some plants and stuff in um, yeah social points I, I, I'm, I'm not sure how many social points it is that you get but um, but definitely um, you know, every social point counts for us at the moment because we do need to we do need to find ourselves a lady, as I keep saying in uh, when we do this episode. Um, you know, I mean that's what the game's about, isn't it? It's a dynasty game, so we do need to uh, get married, have some children, uh, continue building the farm. I am still really interested in the idea of using that uh, of utilizing the greenhouse as well. Uh, purchasing those cheap ones over the other side of the silos, the the ones under that bridge there, uh, that will be pretty cool actually. Uh, it's a fair bit of money to invest though, isn't it? Like quite a bit of money to invest. So um, once we once we have our um, um, once we have our wife sorted out and stuff like that, then we can probably start spending a little bit more money. I also really want to get to finishing the house as well but again it's another expense but uh yeah we'll, we'll see what happens it makes me kind of wonder whether i need to put a winter crop in um in that other field that we've got but i feel if i put a winter crop in there then the chances are that we may not get to harvest it in time to put another crop in for next season that's the one down the road down there so uh, i don't want to miss out on that i'm just going to uh we should just run to the store here um and sell off these uh sell off these uh duck and uh geese eggs i collected those before i went to sleep last night so Good to see you. Can I uh, help you? i'm not really doing much um trade? <clears throat> much sure. off camera need? work on this so <laughs> the stuff that you see me do here uh is uh is basically the work that i'm doing on it however i am considering probably doing a little bit more off camera as well. I think we need to buy his sausages. We should buy all of those because Rex is going to need one of those. The other thing is the drone races are on today, but we can't. Oh, we can afford a drone, but a racing drone. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be a little. Maybe next season. <laughs> maybe next season because it's like six thousand two hundred there. Uh, what flowers do we have? We've got uh, zinnias, we've got dahlias, uh, we've got rose seeds, and we've got tulips as well, which is uh, – so we've pretty well got everything that you can buy seed-wise. So I think we will leave that at that, I reckon. There you go. Beautiful. So that's uh, that's that done. 
the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go down and uh, and fix that building and do that building fix job. Uh, there's a couple of plow jobs which I'm probably going to try and get done, I think. But as I said, I'll probably do most of those off camera now, I think, because uh, you guys probably don't want to. I mean, I'll do a few. I'll definitely do a few uh, on camera. I can't believe I'm doing this again. I only just, I only just did it. I, I thought that it would be fine. I did all the uh, shoveling and all the raking on all of this, and thought, oh yeah, it's going to be fine. It'll be no worries. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get on camera in the morning and uh, and plant some plant some flowers, <laughs> rather than sort of drawing through all of this digging and uh, and stuff. So we'll just uh, we'll just run along this um, we'll just run along this fence for now, and uh, and we'll do that. Which is uh, which is not too far, so we'll, we'll get this one done. Uh, we'll get some flowers in, and hopefully that's going to help increase. I don't know whether it increases our social points only when the flowers are blooming, or whether it actually increases our social points when. Uh, G'day, Rexy. How you doing, mate? I'll give you a sausage in a minute, or whether it um, increases our social points as soon as you've planted them. I'm not sure, but it's kind of a. It's like a, it's a daily increase, so. There we go. We should be able to get all the way down to the corner here. Like that. Perfect. Uh, let's... Where are you, Rexy boy? Don't you wee on our garden. There we go. There's your sausage, buddy. Probably need to see if, uh, see if grumpy old James needs a sausage as well. Use the rake. Let's get the rake in. Then we'll get some flowers planted. And uh, that way, that job is done and out of the way. Which is cool. We'll probably plant some more over over a period of time. I did want to plant quite a few. Um, I don't know whether you can. I don't know. Somebody might be able to answer me. I don't know whether you can pick these flowers and actually sell them at the store, uh, like you can in uh, Lumberjacks Dynasty. I'm not sure, but uh, I might test it out. I think. There we go. Uh, there's probably only a small window in which you can pick them, and then are you losing the social points? Is that is that the uh, you know do we do it? Do we do a couple of gardens where uh, where we that we don't pick, and then do a couple of gardens that we can pick if you can pick them and sell them? Be nice to know. All right. Okay. Beautiful. So I hope everybody's well. Couple of days, three, three days. What day is it here? It's Tuesday here. So only, only three days until Christmas. We've got uh, today and Wednesday and Thursday, and then it's Christmas on Friday. Uh, I am working at the moment on a, um, on a, uh, a Christmas video for everybody. I think we might put roses in here. What do you reckon? Um, so yeah, expect that to come out probably on Christmas Eve. I reckon. I reckon that'll come out on Christmas Eve. It's a little bit dark, isn't it? I kind of can't see what I'm doing. It's in the shade over there, so... I don't want to waste my seeds, because uh, we only have 30-something. So... But uh, I think it'll look nice having the roses down the, down the side here. Just adds a little bit of garden and stuff. So now uh, when we do eventually get a wife, she will be doing the egg collecting or she's supposed to do the egg collecting and milking the cows every day, which will give us time to concentrate on doing a lot more contract work and uh, making sure that our fields are okay. But we'll go and check our fields in a sec just to make sure that, um, that uh, everything is going okay there. So there we go. That one, got that one. We're running out of we're running out of rose seeds. Wow, I didn't think that we would running down here. Four, three. There might be just enough. I may have wasted one in the dark over there. Uh, let's see. Okay, it looks like there's um. What should we put in there? Dahlias, maybe. Uh, don't do that. Let's see, might have to. Uh, I might have to turn. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Now we will throw in some dahlias. There we go. 
I can see, at least I can see now with this with this lamp on, you can see how hard it was to see in the dark. So everything's all right there. That's good. What you doing, buddy? Hey? Good old Rex. Lovely. All right. So uh, let's see. We've, uh, we're fine for food at the moment, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, we've got a whole pile of curried eggs that we can make. Done the cows. Done the chickens. Amp off on that. Um, go over and check the greenhouse. There we go. See, we've got some flowers. This, we've got some flowers here this morning. Uh, wet. So everything's okay there. Got some honey. Beautiful. Now, apparently, this metal disappears at some point in time. I don't want it to disappear. Uh, let's see. We've got plenty happening here. Looking very forward to uh, all of this stuff, uh, all of this stuff growing. Everything seems to be going really, really well here. So I still don't have the, uh, I still don't have the DLC, the, um, uh, the potato DLC. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting at the potato and beet DLC. Uh, at the moment, we pretty well can't afford to, to do that anyway. We also need to restore all of this timber here, restore this roof. I do want to get more solar panels in, but uh, solar panels are pretty expensive. They're pretty expensive. So um, what we might do is jump in the jack bear. Uh, let's see. Oh. What's going on? My controller doesn't seem to want to work. Hang on a sec, guys. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That might be a little bit better. All right, beautiful. So uh, how much fuel have we got in this? We've got 64%. That's... Sh should be okay. Where, where did we leave our plow, guys? Can't remember where I left the plow. Hmm. It's not here. Gonna have to find it. Left it somewhere. It does look nice and neat down here, doesn't it? That uh, that field hasn't... Um... What's going on? I thought we planted this field. Ah uh, yes, we have. It just hasn't. Uh, it hasn't uh, started its growth cycle yet, so that's okay. Let's uh, go and see if we can find ourselves our plow, which I thought was around here somewhere. Hmm. I don't know where it is. Let's have a look at the map. Let's see. Uh, we've got an old machine uh, over there. Ah, uh, yeah, it should be should be somewhere on the. Zoom in as much as we can. Cedar, bale wagon, liquid manure spreader, square baler, lawn mower, plow. It's over there. Did I miss it completely? I must have done. All right, we'll head over there and uh, check it out. Or did I leave it inside? Oh, there it is. Hidden behind the tree there. I thought this was where I kept it. So I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to just... <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Sorry, farm sim. Hitch the plow up. There we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down. Uh, we're going to head out and down. Then we're going to turn right down here. And uh, we're going to head down to this plow job. Then we're going to jump out, go to the bus stop, head down here, and uh, do ourselves a uh, a building repair. So that is the plan. All right, let's uh, turn that off. Unless something happens, I will see you guys when we get down there. All right. Where are we? It looks like it's uh, Gerard, Gerard, or Gerard, whichever way you want to pronounce it, that uh, oh, needs some me. work done. Nice hat. Nice hello. hat. Jungle combat. Well, hello there. 
All right. Uh, I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. Got anything for me? There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Will you do it? Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Okay, so we'll go and do that. So we'll do the field first, I think, and then uh, we can sort of spend late afternoon doing... Um, uh, where is it? Over here. And then we can spend sort of late afternoon doing... Um, doing the repair job, I think, so... Have a look into that, see? All the way down near the windmill. Actually, is that... It is the windmill, isn't it? I didn't realise we were so far down. Uh, it looks like it's this field here that we're going to be doing, so... Okay, we can do that. There we go. Alright, right button and lower the machine, and off we go. So I was just thinking when I was driving up here, um, you know, I was talking about uh, the possibility of doing the, um, the potatoes and stuff in this. Because uh, it'd be really interesting to see how it works uh, in this in comparison to how it works in farm sim. But uh, one of the, uh, and I'm not going to name any brands or anything, but one of the largest, I was listening on the radio the other day, one of the largest um, uh, potato chip or potato crisp or crisp manufacturer, depending on where you are and what you call them, uh, in the world is actually about to... Uh, have just set up to reduce their uh, the um, the carbon footprint and environmental impact of their chips by 70 percent which I found really interesting and the way that they're doing that now is um, is they've set up a new system uh, in their manufacturing process and I found it really interesting what they're doing now is the, is the uh, the two two biggest uh, environmentally um, unfriendly, um, aspects of creating potato chips or crisps I'm going to call them potato chips but you'll know what I'm talking about um, the most in, in, un, um, unfriendly uh, part of that process uh, in regards to the environment is the uh, carbon that's created cre um, making the chips and uh, and the potato peel waste so all of the uh, potato waste like the peel uh, which, well, which is just basically the peel. What they've done is they've developed a system now, and, and I've, like I said, I've found this really, really interesting. They've developed a system where they're harnessing the uh, carbon and using the carbon um, to uh, assist in the process of manufacturing uh, fertilizer out of the uh, potato peel. So basically what they're doing is they're capturing their carbon and they're reusing that. I don't know how they're reusing the carbon. This must be some process because the, the uh, story didn't go completely into it. But they're basically utilizing the carbon that they generate in their factories um, to assist in turning the potato peel into fertilizer. So they were at one stage just discarding the potato peel uh, and weren't utilizing the carbon. But now. Um, with this new manufacturing process, they're capturing that and uh, creating fertilizer, which again is going back out to the farmers who are growing the potatoes for the potato crisps. So, and apparently by doing that, it has a, uh, a, a an instant 70% reduction in carbon footprint and in environmental impact on the world, which is uh, which is actually pretty awesome. So. If you do eat that brand of chips, and as I said, I'm not going to mention any brands here, um, you will soon be <laughs> basically eating chips that are 70% more environmentally friendly than what you have been eating previously. Uh, they say that by the end of next year, um, that manufacturing process and that process of um, of, of generating fertilizer and utilizing their carbon and stuff will actually reduce the impact by 100% on uh, on any packet of chips that you purchase. So I thought that was uh, just a little bit of useless but uh, really, really interesting um, information and something that uh, it sort of goes to show that when manufacturers, um, uh, when they think about what they're doing and think about their processes, that they can actually reduce their impact on the environment. And what they're also doing is helping out the farmers 
who require the fertilizer to um, to grow the product that that these companies need to be able to make their product. So, in turn, they're helping themselves out on a double level, but also um, also helping out the farmers who are growing this stuff as well. So, there you go. A little bit of uh, useless information for you well not useless really but uh interesting information at least i found it very very interesting so it'd be nice to see if uh, more manufacturers and i think more and more manufacturers of different products are working towards doing very very similar things and i think that's the the, the way that they need to go in the future anyway so um it's certainly going to uh make a massive difference uh, and I will actually, Walkers, the, the, the company name, the, the, the Chris manufacturer's name is Walkers. So um, any crisps that they manufacture uh, this year are going to be uh, a whole lot more environmentally friendly. And I guess when they come up with something like that, then they're probably worth mentioning anyway. So there you go. I am going to get this field done guys and uh, I might go into a time lapse to do it as well so I will see you guys when this is done. So we did, uh, we did tend to spend uh, a, a bit of money, um, a, a bit of social point money. I don't know what we spent it on. I um, can't remember whether it was, uh, it was having our fields uh, fertilised and stuff. Perhaps, you know, um, having the aerial fertilisation done and stuff. But uh, we do, with the... Um, uh, we, do, we do need to continue working towards that now. Um, so top lits have announced for those of you that haven't watched my uh, that don't watch my lumberjack series um, top lits have announced that the full release version one of uh, lumberjack's dynasty is being released on um, on the 21st of January uh, I'm not sure whether that includes uh, the marriage aspect of, uh, of the game or not uh, and they're having children I hope that it does when it is released but um, <laughs> it, it, it makes me think that we probably need to uh, work our butt off to make sure that we get married in this game before we uh, before we get married in Lumberjack's Dynasty. So we're going to have to work pretty hard at that. We're going to have to work very very hard at that. At that, uh, I do eventually want to get some um, some more tractors and stuff at some point in this. Um, uh, get a faster tractor. It just it, it takes so long to drive this. <laughs> takes so long to drive this tractor down here down to this corner of the map so um especially and and it takes a, quite a long time to uh to to do these plowing jobs as well but uh they are quite relaxing to be honest but uh they're very just long very long winded so i think probably the first thing that we're going to look at is um a, a bigger tractor and a bigger plow i reckon so I do, I do want to go for the Fent look-alike, but I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to be able to afford that because that's a uh, bigger, more powerful tract tractor. So we'll see how we go.
we go. This is getting very, very, very close now to being finished. So I think up and uh, down this section here, and we'll, we might get the notification. It's sitting at uh, 90, 94%. I don't know why that's bugging out like that, but it is. <laughs> so uh, we've, fi we've finished this off. It, it does take a little bit of time, but it hasn't been too bad. I did notice, though, that the, uh, the old Jack Bears used... Uh, what twenty percent of its fuel doing this job, just driving down here and doing this particular job, so that's pretty interesting, but uh do this run, and we should be pretty close to it saying that we've uh, that we've completed our job, I think there we go, all right, so there's no point in us uh just wasting our fuel and doing the rest of it if they're happy with that. there we go. Get over those bumps. We'll go and see. Uh, we'll go and see him, Gerard or Jared, and uh, we will claim our reward. So there you go. The old. Uh... Yep, she's getting a bit dirty, isn't it, Jack Bear? And we're going to drive up to the uh, bus stop just up the road and probably catch a bus down to this repair job. We've got our tool belt on us, so we really don't need to. Uh, we don't need to worry about that at this point, so. All right, here we go. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, that's a... Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, what did we get? Uh, 1,040 social points, 520 bucks. 520 bucks. Uh, let's see, did you have the latest news? I don't know whether this does any social points. Bloody Miranda, I tell you. I don't know how many times she's been pregnant. Uh, let's see, is there something I can help you with? No, not right now. Not at the moment. Excellent. See you around. <laughs> Boy, it's no surprise that, that, that she'll see us around. Oh, goodness me. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh man, the the charm in these games is I love it. It's fantastic. Such good charm. Yeah. Jog <laughs> jogging in her leather jacket. It's uh it's absolutely brilliant. It's just absolutely fantastic. I love it. Uh have we stopped we haven't stopped here for quite a while, have we? So we might uh might just jump out here while we're at it. Um See if there's anything that she has for sale that we might be able to utilize. She probably only has coffee. Uh, where are we? There we go. Talk to you. Hey there. Hey there. Uh, let's see. Care to trade. It's the one that we want. What have you got there? What have you got there? Absolutely nothing. Okay, thank you for that. Just chocolates and stuff, uh, which is no point for us. There's no point in us getting any chocolates or anything at the moment. There we go. There's the big fence there. That's the tractor that I'd really like to buy, but I really don't think we're going to be able to afford that one. So where are we? Make sure there's no... All the traffic. Where Where is the traffic gone? It seems very quiet out here, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to afford this beast. What, what's it worth? 76 grand. <sighs> oh, or 38 plus 76,000 social points. My goodness. Uh, all right, let's uh, duck over. Actually, what we need to do, we need to get some fuel in here. I know, I think we've got some fuel in the fuel tank at home, but uh, I think we probably need to put some fuel in here before anything else. So we might... Um, we might fuel this beast up because we I do have another couple of plough jobs that I'm going to have to go and do probably off camera, I'd say. So what we might do is get in here and fill this up and get it prepped for that. There we go. Gas station. Uh, 26 for $39. There we go. 26 litres for $39. Lovely. All right, we shall park this beast right here which should be okay. There we go. And we'll get in there. And off we go. So we're, we're going... 
We're going down here. Yes, we're going down there because we're heading down the road to the old wharf. So we'll head to that bus stop there. Head down the road to the old... Uh, now, if I, if I remember rightly, it's down here. Which is... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Keep your eye out for some mushrooms on the way. But... Um, Hmm, there's animals over here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to head over there, and I will see you when, when we get over there. Well, there you go. I found a few mushrooms. Look, six mushrooms, but I found a whole pile of strawberries as well. We need to eat a couple of those there. There we go. The traffic seems to be back. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, strawberries around there. I, I sort of uh, just wandered around looking at the ground and found some, but has found some of the strawberries are a lot easier to find. Uh, who has this job? Pablo. Pablo has the job. Hello. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just standing here on the fence talking to you. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Oh, of course. Let's see, come on. There Sounds we go. Good. I'll take care of this. Hmm. Question is, how far away is it? Oh, it's here. Is this his farm here? Really? Is is there any mushrooms around? Is there? Is there? Can I see any mushrooms? You've got to look at the ground. It's a, it's really quite disconcerting. You don't know where you've been, or where you're going. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's do some repair here then. Hey, looks uh, easy enough, doesn't it? There we go. All right, we'll get that one done. Get this one done. Don't think there's too much repair or repair to do on this, so it's 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 a pretty cheap job. So, but uh, yeah, it's all social points and it's all uh, it's all money. I think there's only two hundred and sixty two hundred and sixty in this one, apparently. So there's no repairing to do there. We'll do all that stuff up there uh, from upstairs. I think I reckon. There we go, running through there as well. Do I look like I care? <laughs> well, you should care. You should care, young lady. All right, there we go. That's that. So that is. Uh, I, I I don't mind these ones because uh, you get to go upstairs, and uh, when you go upstairs, then uh, you can do all of the uh, roof and everything from up there. So. It makes these jobs a little bit easier to do because you don't have to put scaffold up and stuff. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can find the stairs. Where are the stairs? Not in there. This must be pretty well the same as ours, I reckon. There we go. That's that bit done. That is that bit done. Such a cool idea. There's a uh, game coming out. Um, I, well, they still haven't. It's still, but still coming soon. I've got. I've had it sitting on my wish list for for quite a long time. Uh, it's called Farm and Fix, and uh, I'm actually looking really forward to that coming out and seeing what it's like because uh, it looks like you do sort of very similar things. You know, building, um, building buildings your farm buildings repairing like doing mechanical work on your tractors and all of that type of stuff which is um which is actually pretty cool um we've got here that one there as well um yeah so doing look that's repaired oh it's open is it it's staying open okay that doesn't make any sense um so yeah you repair building or, or repair and build uh buildings you fix um you fix your uh, you fix your tractors and maintain your tractors and all that type of stuff. So I don't know whether it's going to have um, like um, car mechanic simulator type of stuff in it or uh, type of mechanics when it comes to repairing your tractors and stuff, or um, or whether it's going to have you know um, and and what type of building system that it's going to have in it as well. I mean, it might possibly have. Um, uh, a building system very similar to this one, but uh, it looks like you're going to be able to build your own buildings. So that in itself is going to be actually pretty cool. So I'm looking really forward to that coming out. Um, 
be nice to uh, I might see if I can find some yeah. updates on it and uh, talk about it the next time I do it do my next truck sim I reckon but uh, let's go and finish this job off guys let's go and finish this off thank you here's something for you absolutely did we get what did we get uh, 260 and 520 social points that is an awesome moustache you've got happening there buddy but it looks like you're having a lot of trouble growing it did your uh, did you 20 month old daughter shave that one for you she's um she's missed a bit all right there you go guys so that is it for this episode uh, i love the dynasty games absolutely love them uh, i know i had a ramble in uh, in my previous uh, lumberjack game about their about their announcement of full release and stuff but uh, i certainly wasn't criticizing the game because I, I do love it like I love all of the dynasty games so just uh, keep that in mind but uh, if you like this one please hit like if you haven't subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe to the channel don't forget to come and join us on all of those other platforms twitch all of our social media it would be awesome to see you all there guys and I found another mushroom look at that uh, but th for now thanks for watching I'll see you later